In today's show, the Bitcoin price will never hit $100,000, says Goldbug Peter Schiff as he starts going back and forth bashing the Bitcoin bulls on Twitter. Peter Schiff wrote, it looks like the Bitcoin pump is finally over. Get ready for the dump. And Rhythm Trader responded, Peter, in the future, Bitcoin dumps 25%. I told you it would dump. Bitcoin dropped from $100,000 to $75,000. Peter Schiff responded, Keep dreaming. Bitcoin is never going to hit $100,000. And in today's show, we're also going to be taking a look at the most accurate price model prediction focused on scarcity, and that's the stock to flow model because plan B disagrees with Peter Schiff and he feels that the Bitcoin price will be anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000 after May of 2020. We'll be discussing this also, in today's show, I'll be sharing with you five reasons why the Bitcoin price is crashing right now. All this, plus so much more, in today's episode. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And to help celebrate the launch of our podcast, our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world, is giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free. For full details, click that link right below the video in the description. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and let's dive right in to today's top story. For the longest time, Bitcoin investors have been shooting for the moon, calling for the Bitcoin price to hit lofty price points like $50,000 and $100,000. The cryptocurrency has the potential to upsurge traditional power schema after all, but Peter Schiff, a leading gold investor, doesn't think such appreciation will take place. The prominent gold bug and libertarian investor remarked in a recent tweet that Bitcoin is never going to hit $100,000, seemingly in a bid to squash the hopes and dreams of industry hopefuls. And taking a look at Peter's reply to Rhythm Trader, keep dreaming, Bitcoin is never going to hit $100,000. Then Rhythm responded, does that mean $100,000 is the price you will admit you were wrong about Bitcoin? And then there were some responses. A Brad Mills replied, $100,000 market cap is still only $2 trillion, Peter. Game theory suggests if Bitcoin continues to succeed, then $2 trillion market cap is not that much. That's still peanuts compared to the gold market cap. And I agree 100%. He also went on to say $100,000 Bitcoin is not that hard to imagine. Then there was another response from Mauricio. I don't really see Bitcoin becoming a stable store of value until at least 300,000. Zender replied with, Peter, in 2012, keep dreaming. Bitcoin is never going to hit $10,000. Pretty interesting perspective because a lot of people did say Bitcoin would never hit $1,000, let alone 5,000 or 10 or 20,000 as we've seen with all-time highs. B responded, Peter, in 2022, keep dreaming. Bitcoin is never going to hit $1 million. And John Kowski wrote, Peter told millions of people that gold was going to $5,000 a few years back when it was at $1,850. It is way down from there, now sitting at $1,460. Peter's investors lost a lot believing it would pump to $5,000. Great call, Peter. And I also want to remind everybody that Peter Schiff is in the business of selling gold, and his best audience is those in cryptocurrency. Hence why he always has these crazy things to say regarding bearishness of Bitcoin so he can sell gold to that crypto audience. Now we're on the same page. And while Schiff didn't explain his rationale in his latest tweet, he has been quoted as saying that Bitcoin is an unreliable store of value and an improper investment, especially when pitted against precious metals. 
Boo. What are your thoughts on that? Schiff's latest quip against Bitcoin comes shortly after he remarked that the crypto market is ready to fall pre-2017 levels. As reported earlier, he opinioned that the entire Bitcoin market is being manipulated by whales who are ready to dump on the market. He's quoted saying, Bitcoin hodlers won't sell as they believe they'll get rich when it moons. Whales get rich by selling now to realize their paper gains before a market crash wipes them out. The whales must make sure that the hodlers don't lose faith and cash out so they can cash in. Now let's shift gears and talk about Plan B's model, which begs to differ. While Peter Schiff believes Bitcoin will never reach a six-digit price point, one of the most recognizable, accurate price models for Bitcoin says otherwise. Plan B's stock-to-flow scarcity model for Bitcoin, which uses Bitcoin stock-to-flow ratio, effectively the inflation rate, and relates it to Bitcoin's market capitalization. The linear regression model, which produces a 95% R2, that statistic lingo for extremely accurate predicts that Bitcoin's fair value will reach somewhere between $50,000 and $100,000 after May 2020's halving event. All I know is this, when Bitcoin surpasses $50,000, I'm gonna be like, Crypto gang, it's the game, big game, all game, light game, cash game, blockchain, whoa. I don't really ever buy stocks, man. No. Haters wanna say I'm in a bubble, man. No. Ch chew them up like bubble gum. No. As absurd as this may sound, Plan B's research has also found that Bitcoin always trends towards the fair value indicated by the model with ample time. And taking a look at this tweet from Plan B, here's what he had to share. Stock the flow model has a lot of proponents, but not everybody is a fan. For a balanced view, here are some of the most well known people against the stock to flow ratio and he actually tweets to them let's take a look at who they are nick carter put not to be that guy but if you stake your reputation on a model which claims that bitcoin is going to hit 55k in may 2020 people are going to trash you when if it doesn't happen and taking a look at this next tweet from eric wall is right i agree with this bitcoin's price movements is dominated by the demand the source of that demand however does in turn come from its scarcity but it's more the memes around the scarcity that drives that demand. The actual flow to be 0%, 1%, or 2% doesn't really matter. And taking a look at the third tweet against the stock to flow model, he wrote, in other words, supply determines demand when it does and not when it doesn't. Plan B responded to Eric, no, there is correlation between Bitcoin stock to flow and Bitcoin price demand is not in the equation. There is no correlation between LTC stock to flow and Litecoin price. That's it. Just stats. And Eric responded. So the model is entirely historical observation. No predictive value whatsoever. And yes, demand is certainly in the equation. As with fixed supply, demand is the sole determinant of price. And taking a look at the actual stock to flow ratio, this model once again is based upon scarcity and shows the Bitcoin price surpassing 50 or even $100,000 after the Bitcoin halving in May of 2020. I went ahead and included this resource in the show notes below this video in the description for you to check it out. It isn't only the scarcity of Bitcoin that will be a boom for the cryptocurrency markets. Earlier this year, Anthony Pompliano sat down on CNN to talk crypto. In the interview, Pompliano made the jaw-dropping assertion that Bitcoin will hit $100,000 sometime within the next two odd years. Although this may seem absolutely absurd, he believes the confluence of the halving and the increased liquidity and inflation risk created by central banks can boost Bitcoin sky high even to the moon, so to speak. What are your thoughts right now? Are you bullish or bearish on Bitcoin? Do you believe that this stock to flow model will be accurate and that Bitcoin will surpass 50 or even $100,000 by this time of next year? Let me know in the comments right down below. All right, and now for the five reasons why the Bitcoin price is crashing right now. Reason number one, Bitcoin whales calling quits. Crypto exchanges saw outflows in the past days. And as you can check this out, we'll take a look at this tweet from Gaber Gerbax. Bitcoin order books look out of balance now to the bearish side. Don't forget, momentum can snap back quickly, as you can see right here in this tweet. Order books reveal a pattern of selling pressures coming in from large-scale Bitcoin traders. At this point, the selling momentum may see its tide turned at any moment, but for the time being, the Bitcoin price seems solidly pressured at least to the $8,800 level. Reason number two why the Bitcoin price is dumping right now, on-chain metrics point to sluggish Bitcoin usage. Taking a look at this tweet from Glassnode, 
This week's on-chain market observations, Bitcoin on-chain metrics are at monthly lows, adjusted transaction volume exchange inflows and active addresses. Healthier levels are required to set the stage for the next bull market, as you can see shared in this graph right here on the screen. Bitcoin is one such cryptocurrency which has a strong correlation between price and on-chain transactions, and the current metrics are not matching the expectations for a bull market. This, as with others, can be altered at any moment, but the buildup of slow coin movements ended in Friday's sell-off. And the third reason why the Bitcoin price is dumping right now, backed action picking up. The backed Bitcoin futures exchange saw a piling up of activity in the past day. Trading accelerated with numbers approaching the 1,000 Bitcoin record mark within 24 hours. This is still small compared to the overall crypto market volumes, but the backed price discovery process has the potential to affect ongoing Bitcoin sentiment. And taking a look at this tweet from backed today's volume so far, 970 Bitcoin, which equated to about 8 million four hundred nineteen thousand last traded price at eight thousand six hundred and eighty the trading day progress thirty four percent and the current daily back target is two thousand twenty seven bitcoin valued at seventeen and a half million dollars and the fourth reason why the bitcoin price is dumping right now bitcoin is stepping into dangerous territory bitcoin price moved into somewhat dangerous territory charting a death cross of moving averages this situation further returned traders to bearish attitude taking a look at this tweet from Bitcoin cats, Bitcoin death and golden cross. Don't know why nobody is talking about it, but Bitcoin death crossed on the daily. The last time it happened was around March, 2018. After the death cross, we had a significant drop in price. After the golden cross in April, 2019, a significant price pump, as you can see right here in this graph. At this point, too much concerted effort would be needed to bring Bitcoin out of that zone. In 2019, the effects of the Golden Cross and the Death Cross were highly visible. And for the fifth reason why the Bitcoin price is crashing right now, weak hands leaving the market. HODL, folks. HODL. The other factors affecting Bitcoin prices were more indirect. Mining has slowed down, causing the first fall in difficulty since the summer price rally. Chinese traders are still highly active with Bitcoin trades, but there's also signs for looking at altcoins for higher returns. The recent downward movement of stock indexes on the U.S. markets may have added to some of the panic selling. Bitcoin exchanges still see enough retail interest to have weak hands on the markets, selling in panic as the recent rally unraveled faster than expected. The bullish promise of Bitcoin price reaching 16000 soonish may have caused an unpleasant surprise as the prices crashed so easily to under $9,000. Taking a look at this tweet from Crypto Kong, obvious retest after a 40% pump, waiting for a retest of 8,400. Bitcoin needs to cool down. Let's remove all weak hands before the pump. Hashtag crypto, hashtag crypto trading. Let me know your thoughts on the Bitcoin price action right now as we take a look at the top cryptocurrencies in the world. Bitcoin currently down 1.85%, trading at $8,837. Ethereum back in the green, up 0.71%, trading at $184. XRP in the red, down 0.12%, trading at just under 28 cents. Link is up 3.07%, trading at $2.75. Miss Litecoin is in the green, up 0.56%, trading at $61 even. Tron is in the red, down less than 1%, trading at just under $0.02, cents, and EOS is down 0.71%, trading at $3.47. The total crypto market cap is at 240 billion with 73 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current Bitcoin dominance is 66.4%. So Bitcoin took a step back and alts are accelerating. And taking a look at the top crypto gainers in the past 24 hours, Aurora is leading the way up 22% trading at a penny. Komodo is up 10% trading at 77 cents. DX chain token up 9.8% trading at 0.001. Golem is up 9.8%, trading at just under $0.05. Cents. Augur is up 6%, trading at $12.07. And Hedge Trade is up 4%, trading at $0.74. Cents. And now for the biggest 
losers for the day. Silverway down 9.6%, trading at 87 cents. V Chain down 7.9%, trading at 0 0.005. Crypto.com Coin down 6.7%, trading at three and a half cents. Luna down 5.8%, trading at 41 cents. And Bitem down 5.66%, trading at 12 cents. And checking out the BitMEX margins, we can see the bears are currently in control with about 78 million in superiority, with shorts leading the way at 51.75% versus 48.25% longs. Are you bullish or bearish on Bitcoin? Let me know in the comments right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And before I go, I want to give a special thanks to our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world to help celebrate the launch of our podcast. They're giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free. For full details, click that link right below the video in the description. It's going to take you to this page. All you need to do is enter your best email and click the orange button that says, yes, I want $25 in free CMDX and we'll make sure you get taken care of with some free cryptocurrency. I appreciate you tuning in once again, and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.